tissues. In multicellular organisms, cells exhibit division of labor in which similar cells join together to perform a particular function. A tissue is defined as a group of cells specialized to perform a particular function. Permanent tissue. When meristematic tissues cease to divide, they are converted into permanent tissues. These tissues constitute the whole plant. The characteristic features of permanent tissues are 1. The cells of permanent tissues are not capable of division. 2. Cytoplasm is very less. Nucleus, if present, is small. 3. Cells are of variable sizes and have thin or thick walls. The permanent tissues may be of these types. 1. Simple tissue. 2. Complex tissue. Simple tissue. Simple tissue is made up of one type of cells that are similar structurally and functionally. These are of three types, parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. 1. Parenchyma The cells of this tissue are living, may be spherical, oval or polygonal in shape, thin-walled and loosely arranged. Location It is most abundantly found tissue and is present in stem, roots, fruits and flowers. Function 1. It stores food materials and also provides temporary support to the plant. 2. Some parenchyma cells may also contain chlorophyll, hence are called chlorenchyma. 3. Parenchyma cells present in aquatic plants have star-like air spaces called aerenchyma. These give buoyancy to the plants and help them to float. 2. Colenchyma The cells of this tissue are living, thick at the corners. There are no intercellular spaces between the cells. Location It is found in leaf stalks and epidermis of dicot stems. They are absent in monocot plants. Function 1. They provide mechanical support to the growing part of a plant. 2. They also provide strength to the leaves and stems. 3. Sclerenchyma They are composed of very thick-walled dead cells. There are no intercellular spaces in between the cells. Location It is found in the veins of the leaves and stems. Function They provide mechanical strength to the plants. Complex tissue A complex tissue is made up of more than one type of cells that work together as a unit. This is a complex tissue which helps in the transportation of water, minerals and food to the different parts of a plant body. They are of two types, xylem and phloem, collectively called vascular bundles. Xylem and phloem are conducting tissues that make up the vascular system of the plants. 1. Xylem Xylem is made up of different types of thick-walled tubular cells. Xylem vessels, tube-like structures joined end-to-end -end with thickening on their walls. Tracheids, elongated, narrow, dead cells. Xylem parenchyma, living cells, and xylem fibers, long cells with thick walls and narrow cavities. Location. It is present from the root to the tip of a plant. Function. These tissues transport water 
and minerals absorbed by the roots to the leaves where synthesis of food takes place. 2. Phloem These are thin-walled tubular cells made up of sieve tubes, elongated living cells with perforated cross walls. Companion cells Thin-walled living cells attached literally to the sieve tubes. Phloem parenchyma Living cells and phloem fibers, dead cells. Location Phloem is found in all the parts of a plant. Function Phloem helps in transportation of prepared food from the leaf to the other parts of the plant. Activity Take a balsam plant and put it in a pot containing red-colored saffron in solution for few hours. See the color of stem and see the different tissues. You will find some tissues taking red color. Identify these tissues with the help of your teacher. You will find the xylem cell containing red color. This shows that absorption of water takes place through xylem.